Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Dungeon Tycoon. Alright, last couple episodes we've been trying to get the, the AI to have a, a brain and not act like a sheep, but it doesn't seem to be working, and I'll show you what I mean. Just so you all understand that the AI is just going to hang out on this side, one or two, sometimes three venture onto this side, and yeah, we don't make a lot of money and crap like that, so it's not going well. Because you would think that they would choose like left or right, but they always seem to go to the uh, to the left here, right? Which is kind of strange. I'm not quite 100% sure why either. And I've tried the door thing too, you know, and it doesn't seem to really, really matter. And they all just kind of seem to hang out out here, which is kind of unfortunate. They'll go as far as here, they'll kill the guy here, and then they'll run back. And it's like nothing over here is really enticing them to go. Which is kind of strange, but they almost read this as like it being the end of the line, and I don't understand why, but whatever. As you can see, they're over here. And then they'll go here, they'll drink, take the machines and stuff. And then they'll go back. Oh, this guy went over it. But then he'll go back afterwards. Watch. Okay, now it's going to start making a little bit of a liar of me. But they won't stay here. They're all going to go back. You're going to have a couple that might stay. But okay, he's starting to go back. And he'll wander back now. There we go. So they don't seem to stay over here. And then the other one died. So, But most of the action is over here. And I think that's kind of really crappy and lame. So we're going to have to go and make it a, a linear route, unfortunately. Then we got a couple of them over here, and then they run back. I don't understand why. Oh, they come over here to play a little bit. But, and then they run back. Hey, <laughs> I don't get it. I absolutely don't get it. <clears throat> yeah, day's just about done, though. This guy's going to probably hang out and kill a few guys there, but... Unless he gets tired. It looks like he's getting tired. He's running. Oh, and that guy croaked. That's good. There we go. So you pretty much will got the gist of, like, why it's not going so well. They're just hanging out over here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're unfortunately going to start uh, deleting our rooms and get rid of all these and kind of rebuild from scratch. So I'm going to go get rid of all this and we'll restart. Alright, so we're going to start off with something a little bit like this. Um, I'm going to try to use every square and see what we can kind of come up with. We've got like an 80 by 80 to use, right? So, um, we're going to come through here. We're going to come up. We're going to just have them kind of like do a zigzag like all the way up. And then we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty much well... At to the point where we're just going to put in like these now and then we're going to have an idea of how many rooms we're going to need left because i'm going to have so many monsters right and then we'll want them coming up here be facing here coming in that way in here probably have you guard the door from down here halfway Sure, it can be there, there, this way, this way, that might be blocked, but it's probably the door on the top, right? Put them more in the middle. Try to keep the mobs in the middle, maybe. We'll have them go like that. Alright, so, we'll do a door. Uh, I'm gonna change that door out though. We're gonna move you. And. Which one is that? That's the reinforced door. They are a little bit expensive. Oh man, getting all kinds of messages. Uh, let's start in the middle. 
And then we'll go this way. Here. Up. Flip around. We're gonna do all the doors now and then we'll be we'll be good. Alright, so we pretty much will have this going on now. They're going to come in. They're going to grab whatever needs uh, potions that they need. They're going to run this way. They're going to get to a rest stop. Run this way. Get to a rest stop. Run this way. Get to a rest stop. And then every four... I'm going to do four mobs and then a rest stop. Four mobs. And then that way, by the time they get to the end or whatever and come back, they should be... It should be pretty good. All right, so we pretty much well exhausted all the money that we had. Um, this was just about done. We just had those two things left. So let's go to the next side over here. Um, what do we want? What do we want? Let's go with increase the loot. Yeah, all right. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's try this out. We'll see how well the people do. Should be a lot better this time though, now that they're gonna run through the entire thing like they're supposed to in a way. But I tried to give them a choice. Can't say I didn't try. And we should make quite a bit of cash too because they're gonna make it all the way through. Which is pretty good. And they get a chance to rest and regain their health, which is nice. Or, well, just their, uh, not their health, but their, uh, their stamina. Alright, alright. The gold guy is going through pretty good. He's got no, no big deals. Seem to be losing some people down here, though. Might be too hard for single ones, but they're going in a group. They're not doing too bad. I could try doing a group table too and seeing how well they go, but I I think they would be too successful, and I wouldn't get enough souls. But we'll see how this works out. This guy's almost at the end. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so they went in, but they didn't want to rest or anything, so that's good. No materials wasted, I guess. Alright, this guy's having a rest. At least it gives them that opportunity to to gain their stamina, so that way they're not tired on their way back. Which is cool. I figure every four was a good, good choice, because I've tried longer before, and they complain a lot, saying they're tired. So I figure this is pretty good. I think uh, I think this is a good flow. It's unfortunate we couldn't do both sides though, but whatever. I'm still so disappointed about that. <laughs> Going well though. This guy is probably on his way out now. That's good. The day is almost done. These are the last two guys that are in here. And one left. He's still got some pep. Oh, he died. No more pep. Sweet. Uh, could use a heal. That was pretty good. 820 bucks. It's a big improvement over the last one. That's pretty good. Uh, faster heroes. Let's go with the monsters first. Alright, I'm going to start just letting the days go by. You pretty much will get the drift of how it's going to flow. Um, one thing I am going to finish off doing is putting in some lighting though. Which would be good. Because it is a little dark in here. I've just been trying to put them all on different sides. Not always going with the same side. Give it a little bit of a different a different look. There we go. 
and we'll just uh, throw one here. There you go. That's going to help with uh, beautifying uh, the place up a little bit there and giving us a little bit more, just a little bit more prestige. And as we go and we get a little bit more money, we're going to start putting decorations in here and making the rooms a lot nicer. And um, that's going to really boost our rating too. But uh, one thing I would like to try to do for today though is really get into these mobs. So if I could save up 2500 bucks, that would be great. I wouldn't mind getting those. That would really help with the variety of mobs that we're going to have in our in our base. Perfect. Another little upgrade for our loot and mobs. Which is great. Alright, so... We can use a heal. Uh, fireflies. Okay, that just adds light. Let's make the heroes a little bit faster this time around. Um... I think I got enough souls for now, so what I think what we're gonna do, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw one of these down. Because I think we should be able to get more money out of them. If they go through it through a group, they should be able to hit more of these machines. I'm kinda hoping, so let's test that theory out. Made about 800 bucks the last round, I think. So we'll see if we can beat that. There you go. Everybody's got their potions. They're going to go in. Everybody's going to get their little fair share. All right, let's just hope they just keep going and they don't just... Uh, they don't go back to the next room. Sometimes they do that because the mob spawns there, but kind of hoping uh, that they don't. Because the theory is, if like more of them survive and more of them are getting to the machines for heals, then they should be spending more money, but we'll see. That's kind of like the goal, right? Let's see, I'm going to have to put a lot more machines in the front because these ones are already empty. I think uh, I got like almost 600 bucks made so far. It's not so bad. Doing great. No one's really died, I don't think, either. I think we're about the same, still 627. Uh, they seem to make it through a lot better. I made about 700 and some bucks. So as long as they keep buying stuff from the machines when they keep going, that'd be great. That's good. Keep buying that stuff, everybody. Not really sure if it makes the round longer. Seems about the same. You just don't have anybody die, right? Like, okay, so no one's going into that last room to buy any potions, or they just kind of like look in, eh, and then they turn around. But it's kind of important that I keep it like that. That way, I keep the pattern going as we go through. Try to give them as many uh, many monsters to fight along the way as we can, too. And then hopefully we can get some bosses in here eventually, too. Because they do have bosses and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Looking forward. I, I think the first one's like a skeleton boss, which is kind of neat. And there we go. So, final readings of the day. You got about 700 and something, I think, right? And a new research. All right. Mysterious Shoemaker. So 785. So eh, it's roughly about the same, really. What do we get here? A large painting. Wow. More paintings. I think we got tons of paintings. All right. Uh, let's go with the fireflies. Why not? All right. So we'll do a couple of rounds and uh, we'll keep her going. Nice. Now we got the fireflies. Uh, 
too little monster variety. All right, well, we're going to work on that very shortly because we're almost at that money amount of money that we have. We'll definitely take more monsters. That will be a bonus. Um, let's just go with this and we'll just try to work our way upwards. And there we go. We got another more shoes. Speed for the guys. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll do that one here. And we're at 28, so we guess we could just go and unlock it for now. Unlock. Because it's like, oh, we could get one mob. I'll have to wait. Oh, I can get him. Uh, let's go with this guy. We got a hellhound. And then the other one was an imp. Cool. All right, so that's what we're going to start doing is these mobs here are going to be our next our next step. I don't know why that went to that. Oh, yeah, because we unlocked uh, the Inferno props. That's why. All right, cool. Let's give her. And there we go. We got another one of these guys done. The one good thing about uh, the stage that we're at now is we're going to blow through research pretty quick. So just about every level we're going to go up something. Yeah, I'm going to fix your, your variety there very soon, my friend. Very, very soon. Let's go back over here. So we got uh, potions. See, this is where you get your first boss. So that's going to be really good to put in. I think we might put him in, in uh, before we get to the next, uh, the next um, set of guys. I think that would be kind of a good thing to do. So let's go with some props. And then we'll continue. Awesome stuff. We got some decorations now. Coffin, lectern, stone wall. That's cool. All right. Still a little bit monster variety. Working on that. Working on that. We'll get some more visitors. That's going to be good. I'll take that for sure. And then we'll do the potion and then we'll get the king. And then that way we should be able to have enough money because I'm probably going to do another mob here. And then what size of room is this? see the fort see if there was a 14 by 14 that would have been great so we might have to go here with a 13 and we're gonna be ah, that sucks I want to make sure I use every square but uh, we could go with a 12 and then maybe try to get jig or something there but I don't think that would work very well I think like a 13 would be a good size for him for a boss Oh, well, we'll end up doing something like that, and we'll end up missing a line on the side. Which isn't going to be a big deal, though, but we'll end up doing something like this, I think. So that room itself is, what, 1600 bucks just for that room? Then this is another 9x9. Nine nine. So that's uh, 2400 just for the rooms. So we're probably going to need to do a few rounds in order to get this complete. Good stuff, good stuff. Now it means we're gonna get one more, uh, one more person coming to the dungeon every day, which is great. More money, more money. All right, so now we just got the Soul Reaper in that. Uh, we'll just go for that, and then we'll make our way over. Uh, another thing I wanted to check out too was uh, the size of this actual spot right here. So that's an exact 15 by 15. That's insane. 12, and that would leave. I could still do like a, a 6 by 12 right afterwards. So, like, this could be plausible. I put in the boss room there. It doesn't have to be super big. Yeah, we could do something like that. And then I could just move this over and put a 6x12, like here at the end. And then that would go to the... Yeah, I can do that. Alright, so that's, I think that's what the plan is going to be. Nice, nice. Now we got a little bit more souls on death. Chance, I guess. Yeah, chance. That's not too shabby. Yeah, I'm working on your variety. Working on your variety. All right, so we just got the potion and then the king left. So we got two more rounds left. And then 
thought we'll start building the, the king area and we'll get him uh, all going. Large potions. That one's pretty good. Those ones are going to replace our other ones over time. So that one took two rounds to finish. So we just got uh, the last one to get here, which will be the king. He's going to take uh, 40 visits. So he might take two. Yeah, he's definitely going to take two uh, two trips for sure. But we'll, uh, we'll have at least lots of money to do what we want to do with anyways. Oh, the Skeleton King. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. So we're going to be able to add that right now. All right, so this is pretty much all done. So we can go start uh, and researching these ones here. All right, so let me just go ahead and build something, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I got. Um, after they do the whole little maze thing and they come around through here, they're going to do the boss fight and they're going to go rest and then they can come back through. Um, so sometimes we end up having two, two people, two groups in here. So in order to make that a little bit more interesting, what we can do, we can find the boss here, Skeleton King. Oh, he's already a level five and we can't boost him anymore. Really? Interesting. Interesting. I thought we could. Anyways. Alright, so he's going to be a pretty pretty tough boss. So I put some totems in here. Just to help them out. And see how that well that goes. Um, other than that, we got like 3100 bucks left. So I think we should spend that money on maybe adding some beautification in here. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And let's see what I can do with $3,100. All right, so we kind of ran out of money there, so we'll see how this goes. Um, kind of decorated the room as roughly as good as possible that it would fit the the mob. Sometimes it's just like skulls and paintings and, you know, stuff like that. Make it look good. These ones here, like with the uh, race in it there, I'd put like a lectern so that would they, it's like they were summoned in or something, you know. And, you know, the spiders are well decorated. So we just kind of got to go through here. Most of these are at 100% too as well. So this is going to really help our rating up here. So that's going to attract better better people. And maybe they'll spend a lot more money. So this one still needs a little bit of something. And then as we go on, like, we'll, we'll beautify them. And we'll make sure that this room gets uh, beautified as well. And uh, we'll see how this one works. So we're going to put the speed on uh, medium. And we're going to uh, check it out and watch them go through it. Because I'm curious to see how, how well they'll do when it gets to the boss. Because the boss is a five-star boss. So, awesome. Can't wait. And eventually, too, we can make our, our guys a little bit uh, stronger in the dungeon. So that way they're, they're, they're not making it through. And so they're losing some of their characters uh, as they go through. And we'll definitely have to upgrade our potions since we have the bigger ones now. Now the bigger ones contain more, so they'll be able to sell more. Because I know it's even on the way out sometimes, people stop and check the machine and it's empty. So that's something we'll have to remedy. Mind the pun. So we're going to watch them. We'll just fast forward it a little bit there. So that way we can get through it and see uh, how, they, how they tackle the boss. Kind of curious to see how that's going to work. Oh crap. Yeah, it would be really helpful if I did put a boss in, eh? Oh, there we go. I just noticed, I was like, well, why is there no boss there? And then, bam, I just seen the words. There we go. Look at that guy, eh? Let's, let's slow it down a little bit. I will have a good look at him. Kind of look at you, man. Let me slow you down even more. Okay, so you don't, don't have a face. Oh, yeah, you do. It's right there. Ah, that looks cool. Oh, he looks pretty sick. That's that's pretty neat. I like it. All right, so let's speed you back up a little bit. If the guys come through. This is gonna be their last rest stop before the boss. Hope you guys are ready, man. Hope you guys are ready. Go in. All right, let's check this epic boss fight out. 
dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that swing. Are you gonna kill anybody? Or are they gonna take you out first? Oh, that guy was unhappy. Oh, he croaked. Are you too hard? <laughs> oh. oh no, not another one. You've lost almost two guys now. I even put uh, I even put totems in there to help them out too, because I was afraid. <laughs> They get their arse kicked. Oh, look, distraction, distraction. Oh, he even killed the whole group back there. That's insane. This guy's pretty tough. Oh, he's dead. Good thing for the second group coming in there, because uh, otherwise, well, the other one just completely demised. Congratulations. <laughs> you might have to fight him on your way out. Oh, no, you're going to get lucky. All right. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was a pretty neat boss fight. You got the whole team obliterated and the other one came in and reaped the rewards. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. We'll let those guys go on fast forward and we'll check out how we do at the end of the dungeon. That boss slaughtered like every crew that went in there. <laughs> that was insane. Oh yeah, he's a little he's a little overpowered. That's for damn sure. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, can we um can we lower him? No, we can't, eh? My god, that's crazy. <laughs> Well, people are going to have a hard time making it past that boss from this point on. That's absolutely insane. Uh, free salute drops for every monster from this realm makes summoning cheaper. Alright, I like the sound of that. Alright, so that's where we're going to call this episode, everybody. <laughs> oh, that, that, that king slaughtered, man. I don't know how I'm going to get past that one. <laughs> We're going to have to make our mobs stronger as they go through, so that way hopefully they level up well before they get to this guy. At least, uh, maybe at least a level or two, so we'll see how that goes. We'll slowly ramp them up in the next episode and see if we can balance this out a little bit. I also might remove the traps too, because I think the traps are too much for this boss. And it just gives less an advantage for our guys, and maybe I'll try to like group the totems so they're a little bit more down here and maybe they're gonna get all the buffs from it because they're seem to be sticking around the door he seems to kind of like get them right away so maybe they're just not receiving enough of these buffs to help them out so anyways that's all the time we got i hope you enjoyed the episode everybody like subscribe peace take care and we'll see you next time bye bye